It seems as if we just don't have a choice. 17 gallons at $72. You're forced to pay it. You're forced to pay it. How often you fill up depends on how much you drive and your car's gas mileage. The SUV is probably about 15 to 20 miles per gallon. I fill up on a Monday, and usually this Sunday I have to put some more in. Steve Young's Camry gets 25 miles to the gallon. It's simply not enough. It's either time to start riding your bike to work or, you know, find some sort of alternative to burn and what I already drive. Once gas rose to a certain point, I said, man, it's time to find something else. Young is banking on a new system to help power his car. Pull this bottom line back. It uses hydrogen gas. Yes, it's the H in H2O or water. We're not prisoners of anything. We can extend the life of fuel as much as we would want to extend it. Talbot Howard is a leading researcher in the science of hydrogen power for vehicle and recreational use. This is a Brown's gas hydrogen fuel cell system. About the size of a book. Howard and mechanics at the East Memphis Green Stop will install a basic hydrogen converter to Young's car. It uses the car's own electricity to produce low-grade hydrogen from water. What comes through here is pretty much pure Brown's gas, hydrogen gas, which is what you saw explode. The element pumped into the engine. It promises to improve power and gas mileage once it's clean of soot. You can extend a 30 mile per gallon vehicle, in my estimate, to about 45. If I could save 40, 50 bucks a week, you know, I mean, that, that's, that's huge. The auto industry wants the technology for new vehicles. Toyota, which produced this promotional video, along with Honda, General Motors, and Chrysler, are testing hydrogen-powered cars. Toyota plans to bring hydrogen SUVs to the showroom in 2015, and funded by the state of California, these companies plan to build H2 fueling stations. Tennessee, on the other hand, is banking on the multi-million dollar electrical car and grid. Howard has lobbied both Mayors Wharton and Luttrell to invest in a state-of-the-art manufacturing plant. It would service hydrogen cars and produce a new device, hydrogen batteries that can power both your car and home. We have the capability to link up all these technologies that are producing power on demand through one city. That's Memphis, Tennessee. And if we could monitor how you could create energy on demand and get a percentage of it by leasing it out to these places, it would affect the world. For Steve Young, the attraction is not global, but practical. I've fallen in love with this, and, you know, if I can just keep driving it, why not? There's one last water filtration system. For Howard, it's an obsession. He believes he's created a better mousetrap. What's missing is the world driving a path to his door. I'm Greg Coy, Fox 13.